When a young engineer transitions into leadership, there are many things that you have to think about. But in this week's engineering management lessons video, I am thrilled to have with me Megan Nugent. Megan is a project engineer, geotechnical engineer at Collier's Engineering and Design. And Megan, you're gonna talk about something related to becoming a leader as a young engineer that's really important for you to be aware of. What is that? I can offer advice as a young engineer with about five years experience, only just beginning to transition into more of a leadership position, um, that I would have as much self-awareness as possible. In leading people, I think it's important to understand your relationship to them in order to understand the best way to communicate. And I think having self-awareness also helps me to be led in the same way, just in kind of, you know, understanding my relationship with that person and how our communication can be at its best. I hope you enjoyed that piece of advice because I have to tell you, I've coached hundreds of engineers around management and leadership over the years and connected with so many through our content channels at EMI. And this is an area where a lot of engineers and technical professionals struggle. They become managers, they become leaders, and the first thing that they want to do is focus on all these management and leadership skills. They take courses, they read books, they do whatever they can to become a better manager, a better leader, develop my leadership skills. The challenge is, is the first thing that you need to be aware of is yourself, right? What are your strengths? What are your weaknesses? What are your tendencies? What are your habits? What's your communication style? Are you someone that likes something that's more visual or audio? Or do you prefer to type emails out and communicate with people? You have to think about all of those things and be self-aware around them to then, number one, develop your skill sets, but then secondly, make sure that the way you're communicating and leading people is in sync with their work styles and their personalities and their tendencies, but you can't do that unless you've done a deep dive on yourself. And one of the ways that you can do this is you can try to use an assessment. There are many different assessments out there, whether they're personality or they're behavioral. We like to use different ones at EMI. And if you have some that you've liked, you can drop them in the chat and let us know what you use. But doing a simple assessment on yourself and your team members can help everyone to be more self-aware and help teams to work better together and really help you go from a technical professional to a great leader. I hope you enjoyed our video today. You can subscribe to our channel here. We do put out videos like this on a weekly basis to help engineers become better managers and leaders. And I'll see you next week.